Let me give you a couple of scriptures. Ephesians 6, 10 through 12 says this, Be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the full armor of God because our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers. He goes on and says who our struggle is. Is against. You see, when you start to get heavenly counsel, something different happens in our life. As I already mentioned, uh, our previous office manager, Carrie, and her husband, Trey, moved to Florida because uh, Trey got a, a job, a, a job down there, and also a privilege of being with family. But this past year, he was uh, out of a job for four months. Didn't have a job for four months. And in the office, I, I watched her come in after he lost his job, and I watched her from uh, week one and week two and week three just kind of go down, down, down. I would pray with her to encourage her to get her up and down. And then about probably maybe in the second or third month, all of a sudden she came into the office. She's already singing. She's happy. She puts on praise music right away, and I'm thinking to myself, what happened to Carrie? What happened to Carrie was she was in a small group, and they were studying a, 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 a um, uh, they were studying a, uh, what do you call that? Uh, not a program, just a, a, a series called The Chatterbox. And she got it. You see, the fact is, that when we talk about getting counsel from heaven, we're not alone. Let me explain. In other words, it's not just us and God. There's also an adversary called the devil, called demons, called uh, someone that doesn't like the fact that we want to get counsel from heaven. He would rather keep us just getting counsel from earth and be limited. But the amazing thing is that as all as he can provide is chatter because he doesn't have a seat. Satan doesn't have a cheat. He doesn't have a chair. So the best thing he can do is provide chatter. And you and I listen to that chatter. And we think it's truth and it's just chatter because he didn't have a seat. And we have to recognize, wait a minute, I'm listening to this earthly chatter and it's getting me down. No, I need to go up and be seated with Christ. Get rid of that chatter because he didn't have a seat anyhow. Carrie realized she was listening to the chatter of the earth, the chatter of her situation. And suddenly through that series, she began to take hold of God in heavenly places. She began to apply it to her life, and I saw a marked difference. Something happened within her, and then it started coming out and affecting the rest of us and those that saw it. 